Hello, and welcome back to Conquering Finale. My name is Jason Lafredo, and today we are continuing on with a special tools investigation. We're going to start looking at some of the STEM tools in the special tools palette here, and there's actually six of them. There is the STEM length tool, there is the beam STEM adjust tool, there is the STEM direction tool, the split STEM tool, the custom STEM tool, and the reverse STEM tool. Uh, which I will cover in a video along with the beam angle tool because they are somewhat uh, related in, in functionality and how you use them. So I'll get to that much later, but today we're going to look at the first two of these, which is the stem length tool and the beam stem adjust tool. All right, so let's dive right in. We're going to look at the stem length tool first, and that's this fifth tool here. It's a little note with a stem, and there's an arrow pointing upwards from the stem. And the stem length tool does kind of what you would think it would do. It lengthens or shortens the, the stem. So with that tool selected, you click in a measure, and you'll get a series of handles. Now you'll notice that there's two handles per note. I'm going to talk about that in a second. But uh, you should know that initially the only uh, handle that will make any adjustments is the handle on the side of the stem. So in this case, um, it's just the bottom handles here that is actually going to adjust the stem. So it's easy enough to just grab that handle and drag it downwards. And you can make that stem as long as you want, or you can make it as short as you want, uh, just like that by dragging it. You can also use the arrow keys to nudge it up and down. And you may have noticed that the stems will actually move left or right as well. And you can use the arrow keys to nudge them left or right, up or down, however you want to do this, uh, to lengthen, shorten, or change the, uh, the, the horizontal position. And just as with all these other tools, the delete key or the clear key will clear any manual adjustments. There's the clear key. Or you can right click the handle and choose the remove manual adjustments options. It will do the same thing. We can also adjust multiple handles. So if we just lasso select all of those, uh, we can move them all at once. And of course, with all of these handles selected, the, the delete key will remove the manual adjustments on all of those all at the same time. Now, because these uh, stems can be moved left or right, up or down, this is one of those cases where the shift key is really, really comes in handy. So if you just want to lengthen it, I would suggest holding the shift key so that you prevent yourself from accidentally moving it left or right. And you just uh, let go there and you have a perfectly lengthened stem or a perfectly shortened stem without dealing, without having to worry about the left or right nature of the stem. Now, you're probably wondering, well, what about the other handles? You can actually adjust those handles, and you'll see me just move that one up there, and you'll see that it will stay up there, but nothing appears to happen. It's not like it's going to change this stem. The thing is that Finale considers the length of the stem, whether or not the stem is upwards or downwards. It actually considers both, both directions at once, I guess, with this tool. So although the stem is facing downwards, um, you can adjust the upward stem length just by choosing that. The, the only thing is that you won't notice that in unless you flip that stem. So if we go into speedy entry, take this F sharp here and press the L key to flip the stem, you'll see that that stem will go all the way up to match where I had made that adjustment to that handle, right? So even though there is no stem on this side, you're adjusting the potential <laughs> height, I guess, of that stem um, by moving these handles on the opposite side of where the stem is. And of course, the delete key uh, we'll bring that back to where it's supposed to be according to the rules of the document options that you have set. Now, you may have noticed in that contextual menu, uh, let's go back here, in this contextual menu here that we do have unlink and relink options for the stem direction, which means that these uh, properties can be unlinked. So if we were to go into the base part here, zoom in a bunch and look at this third measure. Of course, in the part, if you uh, make an adjustment, it will uh, turn orange, which means that it's now unlinked. So this stem length in this third beat of the third measure is now unlinked from the score. So we go back here, look at the third measure. You can see that the length is normal. It's orange, indicating that uh, this particular stem length is unlinked. And of course, these options will work the way they normally do. If you relink, it will turn black again, and it will reset that uh, stem length in the base part back to normal. And of course, the modifier key, the command key, I believe is control on Windows, will uh, do the opposite just the way you would expect it in any other function in Finale. Holding down command in the part will not make it turn orange, and this length will now appear in the score. And let's just reset that. And in the score, holding down command 
will unlink it and lengthen it or shorten it if you want uh, without changing the length in the part. So this works just like any other um, unlinking option in the uh, uh, in Finale. And we'll just go back, relink, and reset. There we go. And just like all these other special tools, the one caveat here is that uh, these things cannot be unlinked in voiced shared parts. So where I, where I have this B flat trumpet part here, um, sharing staffs, uh, and I've got individual parts for the trumpet. This is a voiced linked part situation, as I mentioned in the first video. Uh, you can make stem adjustments here, but uh, they won't uh, they won't show up in the trumpet part. That was measure five that I adjusted, and you can see that the uh, stem length didn't change. And even in the part, you can't even adjust the stem length. So these tools are, are non-functional in uh, voiced linked parts. Um, as I mentioned in the first video, some of these things uh, behave like that. <laughs> it even looks like it's unlinked here, but uh, it, it's, actually, it, it's actually not. So uh, that's what's going on there. Now, of course, with these stem lengths, they will um, adjust the, the flags as well. So if I click in this measure here, you can see I'll get my handle and the flags will move uh, along with the stem. However, you can't, you can't change the length of uh, beamed groups of notes here. This is what, there's a different tool for this called the, uh, called the beam angle tool, which is also the beam height tool. Um, that's what we'll use to change the height of these beams, and I'll get into that much later. But the stem length tool will only adjust isolated stems like this, all right? Now, there is another tool that I want to talk about here just very briefly. It's the beam stem adjust tool. And then when you click in this tool, now you can see that there's handles on only the beamed notes, and there's two handles on each side. Again, this is very similar to the stem length tool. Uh, in that you can change the length of the stem. What's different about this versus changing the uh, the whole beam angle or the beam height is that this tool actually only changes the stem height relative to the beam. So you, it's actually possible, if you can see that, to get the beam uh, to get the stem disconnected from the beam with this tool. Now this has a really kind of specialty purpose. There's very you know few cases where I think this is probably all that useful, but this is how you would do it. You can actually extend it as well. So if you wanted it to go upwards from the beam, you can get some interesting uh, interesting things like that. In fact, you can do something, you know, clever like, you know, connect the stems all the way up to the right hand in the piano part. Uh, if you really wanted to do something silly like that, it's all possible with this uh, beam stem adjust tool. And everything I mentioned about the stem length tool applies to this beam stem uh, adjust tool, including the you know the invisible stems going in the other direction, uh, unlinking parts and everything, the delete, clear, remove multiples. You can change multiples, all that stuff. Uh, the horizontal adjustments that can be made, etc. All of that is the same as a stem length tool. The only difference is that uh, with this beam stem adjust tool, you're only able to adjust the length of the stems on a beamed note to get some, some interesting uh, results. Now just a couple other uh, things to talk about. With both of these tools, it is sort of possible to use these tools to hide a stem, I guess. Like if I were to go back into this measure and shorten the stem to the point where you don't see it anymore, that is technically one way to hide a stem. It's not the, the best way in my opinion because if these notes move, um, this uh, stem is going to get flipped and then it's going to take on the length of that uh, that top uh, handle here. So um, there's some other, it, it's not the greatest way to do this. Uh, the There's two other ways to do that. One is with a custom stem tool. You can, I'm going to show you this later, you can uh, change the stem to a blank character which would actually hide the stem. There's also a way to do this with a staff style so that you're not showing stems across a large portion of uh, measures. So um, although it is one way to sort of hide the stems, I wouldn't recommend it. You can sort of do that with um, the uh, beam stem adjust tool too if you really wanted to do something crazy like you can kind of hide the stem like that. The one thing is that you can't really do this on flagged notes though. So I go back to here. Obviously, you can't shorten that to the point where you're hiding the flag because the flag will just go with it. So, um, you know, if there's no flag that you can do it like this, but it's not the, the, the recommended way to, to hide a stem. 
And then one other thing I want to talk about, there is sort of um, a pl one plugin that will work to adjust stems uh, in mass, and it is the JW Change plugin, which I've talked about a lot. So we'll just go back here, JW Change. There is a stem uh, section here, and there is some uh, things having to do with length which is where you can actually change the length of all the stems within the selection. And I'm not going to go through this in too much depth because I don't know how useful this is for most people, but you can set the, the, the absolute value, uh, the absolute length of the stem here just by uh, entering a number. Or what's handy is you can actually check this relative button and then whatever you put in here would be additive. So if you put like 0 0.05, you're adding 0 0.05 to the stem or negative, you're, you're making it negative 0 0.05 shorter. Um, the other thing that you can do is there's the resize stem, uh, which is a, sort of the same thing. It will change the size, the length of the stem, but by proportion instead of by absolute length. Uh, so with the resize, if you want to do something like, you know, say I'm going to make it 125% of the current value. Um, uh, in, incidentally, you'll notice this little note here, resizes the stem length currently only relatively regardless of the relative setting. So in the resize here, this relative uh, function actually doesn't mean anything. Uh, but anyway, with resize 125%, you can make all of the stems 125% longer, um, which might be useful, you know, because the stems are going to be a little bit different length of, across a, a large section of music anyway. So that might be uh, one thing that you can do. Of course, you know, if it's below 100%, it will uh, make it um, make it shorter. And there's all kinds of filters here that you can use. So uh, if you know, you know, whatever, if you only want to change the up stems or something or, you know, a certain layer or, you know, a different kind of entry. I mean, you can only change the eighth note stems or something, only the quarter notes, whatever you want to do here. Uh, this is how you would do that with either the resize or the length. Um, there's some other things for direction and flip and all this stuff, but uh, the resize and the length uh, options here in the stem sections of JW Change is what would allow you to change the lengths of the stem uh, basically in a, in a large selection like this instead of having to use the uh, special tools and do them one at a time or at least one measure at a time. That's how you would do that in a larger selection. All right, so there you go. So that is the stem length tool and the beam stem adjust tool. Hopefully this has been helpful. Uh, the next video, we're going to start looking at the stem direction and the split stem tools. I hope I can get both of those in the next video, but we'll, we'll find out. Um, so yeah, so that's where we're going next. Once again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you soon on the next video.